Oh. I'm painting Mars, my favorite planet. Did you know that it's red because it's hot? Well, Mars isn't red because it's hot. Let me show you what I mean. Mars' surface is made up of rocks. Now, all these rocks are full of iron. When the iron oxidizes, the rocks turn a reddish, rusty color. That's why the surface looks red. Then, when the wind picks up these rocks and dust, the atmosphere turns a pinky reddish color. That's why from Earth, when we look at Mars, we see it looking the color red. Here's a quick science experiment that you can do at home or in the classroom to create rust. All you're gonna need is 200 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 150 milliliters of vinegar, and 25 milliliters of salt. Then you're gonna need any piece of metal that you like. I'm gonna use multiple pieces. Now, once you've mixed and dissolved your salt, you're gonna to wanna to wait 20 to 25 minutes and watch your rust form. Look at that, you've created rust. Now, although this isn't exactly the surface of Mars, it's still a great experiment to show you why Mars is red. Now back to Charlotte for a real world example. Think of it like this. What happens when you leave your bike outside for a long time? It rusts? Good, it rusts. That's sort of what's happening at Mars. So Mars isn't red because it's hot. It's red because the iron-rich rocks oxidize and turn a rusty color? Exactly. <sighs> Mars really is the best planet. <laughs>